Welcome back, boys and girls, to Temple Kids TV. This week, our lesson is entitled, The Lord, Our Banner. Now, many of you support your local uh, athletic teams, maybe your school, and you don't necessarily wear a banner. You might wear a mask like I have on right here supporting your favorite team. You might wear a jersey uh, supporting your favorite team. You might have a flag that you have that you put on your car, but in some shape, form, or fashion, you show who you're supporting and who you're rooting for, right? That's your team, and that's called, sometimes it's called a banner. Now, if I ask you what this beautiful item is right here, many of you would say that's the flag of America, of the United States of America, right? Well, it's also known as the Star Spangled what? Banner. That's right. This is the Star Spangled Banner. And many times when you watch the Olympics, you'll see every, every country represented there carrying their flag or their banner saying, this is who we're competing for, and this is who we represent. And this is one way we can, we can say who we uh, support and who we uh, are as Americans, that this is our uh, star-spangled banner. Now, today, we're going to listen, as I said, about a story in the Bible about a very, very special banner. And I want you to pay attention to it when Miss Kelly talks about the story. But until then, I need you to stand up. Let's sing our song, and we'll be back in a little bit. Let's sing. Hi, son. May I come in? Oh, hi, Dad. Sure, you can come in. Oh, I heard you're doing a show and tell tomorrow. Yeah. What's wrong, son? I'm a little scared. What if my classmates don't like it? Well, son, it's okay to be afraid. If you make God your banner, you have nothing to be afraid of. A banner? What's that? In a war, a banner is a symbol that shows whose side you're fighting for. Let me tell you a story about Moses. One day, when the Israelites were in a place called Rephidim, a tribe called the Amalekites attacked them. 
while the Israelites defended themselves against the Amalekites. God told Moses to go up the mountain and raise his hands. Ooh, that's really tiring. It is. But by raising his hands, Moses was declaring that the Lord is the banner over Israel. Every time Moses raised his hands, the Israelites were stronger. But when he put them down, the Amalekites became stronger. So his brother Aaron and Hur helped him raise his hands until the battle was over. After the fight was over, Moses built an altar and called it, God is my banner. You see, you don't have to worry when you remember whose side you're on. Even when I'm afraid? Especially when you're afraid. Oh, so I have to remember that God is on my side when I do my show and tell tomorrow. Very good, son. Yes, with God as your banner, what could go wrong? Now, it's time for you to go to sleep. Okay, Dad. Good night. Good night, son. All right, boys and girls, today we're learning another name of God. And today that name is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner. So our story is from the book of Exodus. And so Coach B is going to play the role of Moses. And Miss Janike is going to pretend like she is Moses' brother. And his name was Aaron. And then I'll be Hello. her, who was an Israelite leader. What was your name? Her. Her. Okay. Yeah. And her, her was really a him. Gotcha. But we're pretending. Gotcha. Okay. So I have a question for and you're you. you're my Co brother. Yes. Gotcha. We're doing a lot of pretending. Gotcha. You're Coach B's brother. You're Aaron. You're Moses. I'm her, who's really a him. And we're in the book of Exodus. Got it. So... You know, boys and girls, have you ever been really tired and achy? Like your legs really ached and your arms really ached? Maybe because you've been carrying something a long way or you had walked a long way? Well, today, in the story that we're learning about Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner, Moses had really, really tired arms. But it's not because he had been carrying anything a long way. So I want to tell you what happened. So Moses was a wonderful leader, and he had led the Israelites through the Red Sea and to the desert. And there at the desert, there was a group of men, and they wanted to fight the Israelites. And so Moses got in touch with Joshua, who was a wonderful young leader. And this is what he told Joshua, because there was a group of fighting men that had started to attack the Israelites who were God's people. And when Moses heard what was happening, this is what he said to Joshua in Exodus chapter 17, verse 9. Choose some Israelite men to fight against these Amalekite soldiers. While you fight... I will stand on the hill with my God's staff raised in my hands. Oh, I got to pick this up. Yeah. Hold on. So Moses told Joshua, while you fight, it's heavy. while you fight, God. I will stand on the hill with God's staff in my hands. Joshua listened to Moses' request, and on the next day, he led those chosen men into battle. It's heavy. But Moses, his brother Aaron, and Hur climbed to the top of the hill. There, Moses lifted God's staff high above his head. And as he did at the bottom of the hill, Joshua and his men would win. When Moses had God's staff high in the air, oh, they would win. But... When Moses' arms grew tired and the staff began to drop, Joshua and the Israelites, as the staff began to drop, they began to lose the battle. They began to lose the battle. Aaron and Hur could see that Moses was getting tired. They had an idea. They decided to get a rock, to get a large rock. They put it next to Moses and let him sit on it. Oh, good idea. Then Aaron stood on one side of Moses, and Hur stood on the other, and they supported his arms. Oh, Each bad. one held one of Moses' arms up. That's better. Together, they held God's staff steady until it started to get dark. After many hours, the battle came to an end. Joshua and the Israelites fought hard 
and they won. Yeah. They won the battle. Sorry, they beat Sandy. the Amalekites. Heavy. And when the battle was over, God spoke to Moses. And this is what he said. Put the right Moses, down. write on a scroll what has happened today. Make sure you tell Joshua what you have written down. God knew that the Israelites would fight the Amalekites. He knew they would fight again. He wanted all the Israelites, especially Joshua, to remember the battle that they had won. Then you, Moses, you built a special place of worship to God. You knew that they needed God's help to win the battle. And he named that place Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is my banner. Because Moses wanted people to remember that it was only because God's staff was lifted like a banner for everyone to see that the battle had been won. And boys and girls, we have a banner today. And it's not the flag, and it's not a pom-pom, and it's not your team jersey. Our banner is not a something. Our banner is a someone, and his name is God. And he is your banner, and he is fighting for us. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this story from Exodus. God, thank you that you are Jehovah Nisi. You are our banner. And you are fighting for us, and you are fighting with us. And when we have your banner over us, we can be confident that you are our victorious God. Thank you for these promises from your word. Thank you for all the boys and girls that are watching today. And God, I pray that we would remember and that we would give thanks to you, the Lord, our banner. And it's through Jesus we pray. Amen. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to put this staff down because it's, it's so heavy. I mean, it was, my arms are so tired. So Coach, be, we're, yeah, we're, we're through with you playing the role of Moses, you but you did a really good job. Now. You can rest you, your arms. You did good. Yeah, you did great. Great job. I think I could pick great up job. one of those rocks now. I'm so strong. <laughs> Boys and girls, we are working on the Names of God flashcards. Oh, huzzah, Sama. Okay, wait. I, I remember the name. Stop okay. Not quite there yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, not yet? No. Oh, my bad. Okay. So now, boys and girls, you should know five names of God. And for those of you that might be joining us for the first time, God has many names. Stop That's one of them. That's Stop one up. of them. <laughs> Stop That's one of them. Oh, thank you. So what we have challenged you to do, boys and girls, is to memorize these nine names of God that Pastor David is preaching on over nine weeks. If you can remember the name of God and its meaning, our children's ministry has a special prize for you. Big and prize. this is week five. Big and so we're just going to do a little review each week. What we've done is we have hints that we hope will help you memorize what each name means. Mm -hmm. Coach B is learning them. Miss Janike is learning them. I'm trying to learn them. And we hope that you are too. Saba. So we Saba. thought. I think it's, that it's, might be his favorite. Oh, it is. I think that's your favorite. <laughs> I remember that one. So we're going to go all the way back to week one. Ooh, okay. And boys and girls, if you know, you shout out the answer at home. All right, so we've got flashcards that you can print online that you can get at church each week, either um, next to our worship bags or in our church office, or your mom and dad can print them for you offline. So week one, week one, we learn the name. Jehovah. Jehovah. So, Coach B, do you happen to remember how we learned what Jehovah means? Was it Saba? Saba. Not, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Jehovah. Oh, come on. You've got Jehovah. this. Jehovah. Think about oh, it. Jehovah. Uh, uh, Saba. Nope. No, enough of the Saba. Jehovah, I'll give you a hint. Wants to know ya. Very good. Yeah. Know ya. Jehovah is the relational God. God. Jehovah wants, wants to, to know ya. ya. Great Thank job, you. Coach B. I knew it. Week two, Pastor David preached on Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah. I, think I know that one. Oh, great, Saba. Miss Saba. No. That's later. Jehovah Shalom, Miss Janik. Hey, help the boys and girls remember. Well, I just remember that you said Shalom rhymes with home. Oh, yeah. And what do we think of when we think of home? Dinner. Well, what else? Dinner. But dinner makes us feel peaceful. When we're at home, we think of peace. So Shalom, home, 
Good. The Lord is my peace. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's my, Jehovah that's my Shalom. The Lord is my peace. Oh, he is. Home that's a good rhymes with Shalom. Awesome. That's great. Moving right along to okay. week three. Week three, Jehovah Jireh. Jireh. Boys and girls, do you remember what Jehovah Jireh means? The Lord. It rhymes Jehovah with something. Jai, provide. Jireh. Jireh. Is Myra. Is Myra. Provider. Yes. yes. That's it. it yes. Jehovah Jireh is my provider. Yes, the Lord <laughs> provides. And so the first syllable in Jireh is I. 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 So at Jai. Your eye, in order for God to provide for us, He sees us. Oh, he okay. sees you, boys and girls. He sees your needs, and then He provides for your needs. So Jehovah Jireh, like the Lord my provides. provides. Yep. There you go. All right. Here comes my favorite. Last week, it's here. Jehovah Saba. Jehovah <laughs> Saba, my warrior, my Can fighter. Can I try it? Saba. Jehovah Saba. The Lord, our warrior. Awesome. I think that's Coach B's favorite. No doubt. No, no doubt. doubt. So Summer. when you're fighting, yeah. let's tie it in. He is our warrior. He fights for us. And that's a word you might say. Is that like a karate word maybe you think? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank and you. this week, boys and girls, from Exodus, we heard the story of Moses. God is our Jehovah Nisi. Now, this is kind of hard to come up with a hint for, but think about it this way. Have you ever been to a ball game, a coliseum, or a stadium, sure. and you see banners hanging? Yes. And it might be, yes. buy this kind of drink from this company, Coca-Cola or Pepsi or different advertisements. Right. Well, you might see a Nissan advertisement for a Nissan car. Now, that does not mean, boys and girls, that God wants everybody to drive a Nissan. But Nissan kind of sounds like Nisi. And banners hang from stadiums as advertisements. So it's just a, just a helpful hint, a clue for you boys and girls to remember. Jehovah Nisi means the Lord, our banner. But remember, our banner is a someone, and his name is God. It's Amen. not a something right. like a flag or an advertisement. So, boys and girls, I hope that these hints are helping you. We're at week five. How you many, should have five of them learned. We many, got four more. Not, so we'll have a total of nine? Total of nine. Ms. Five Kelly, down, Y'all Ms. keep four to go. On these, boys and girls, Ms. so you'll Kelly's get your prize. Got a big surprise. Big surprise. Boys and girls, keep working on your flashcards and make sure that you watch Temple Kids TV next weekend. We'll see you then. Big surprise. Big surprise.